Hi everyone, I'm JP. I head up the customer support at Precision Hydration and I'm a keen endurance athlete. I've got plenty of years of experience racing myself, mainly in triathlons, but I've dabbled in ultra running and even swim run. A couple of years ago, I tied myself to Andy and towed him across the Swedish archipelago for nine hours. I still have a job, so I count that as a big win. As one of the sweatiest, saltiest and pickiest members of Team PH, we thought I was probably the best guy to test out the Path Project running kit and to be honest, I thought it was a great excuse to get out for another run. Path Projects is a San Francisco based running apparel company founded in 2017 by Scott Bailey. Scott's a super keen runner and whilst he was looking for a truly functional pair of running shorts to meet his needs, he just could not find any so he thought, I'm going to make some myself. These days, Path Projects follows a 100% direct consumer model, cutting out any retail markup, allowing them to use the highest quality materials in all of their garments, whilst keeping the prices low and very affordable. They make a range of shorts, liners, tops, and really cool hats. And I'm gonna start by talking about the shorts. The shorts have this really high quality feel to them. They're stretchy but not too stretchy, they wick really well and they fit really well. For me the standout feature beyond the fact that you can pick between your liners and your shorts so you can get different lengths and different thicknesses to meet the style of running you're doing or the temperature in which you're running in is the position and sizing of the pockets, especially the rear pocket. This is the first pair of shorts I've ever worn where I can fit my iPhone 11 in and it doesn't bounce around, it sits smoothly against your lower back, which is just perfect for me. The side pockets are big enough to fit phone, keys, gels, or even a soft flask. Fitting all of that in means I don't ever really have to wear my pack unless I'm going really long. Moving on to the tops that Path Projects offer, they have a range of short sleeve tees, long sleeve tees, and even a hooded top. Depending on the conditions, you can chop and change between all of them. Personally, I really like the long sleeve cascade that I'm wearing right now. I've used it through the winter for a layering top and just in spring as a standalone tee. It wicks really well, it doesn't hold sweat, which is a big problem for me. It's such a heavy sweater. If I wear anything that's too heavy, it makes me sweat, it holds the water and it just feels heavy and cold. Whereas this really doesn't do this. It seems to wick the fluid away really nicely. <laughs> And finally, moving on to the caps. It's no secret that everyone at PH loves a cap. We've pretty much all always got one on. And if it's not one of these, it's one of these. What's really nice about the Path Projects hats is the nice mesh they've got on the back. It's not got that harsh plastic feel to it. It molds really nicely. So if you need to screw it up into a pocket, it folds down really small. And again, moves on to my next favorite point, which is the beak. Some beaks are so hard and card body that when you bend them, they literally don't bend back. But as you can see here, you can screw it up, stick it in your pocket, pull it back out. Same good shape. Apart from that, the band around the inside is really soft. So you don't get any of that rash around your head. If you tie it up nice and tight on a windy day, it just absorbs the sweat, pulls it away. Perfect. So in conclusion, if you want some cool looking running kit that bridges the gap between sporty and casual and doesn't make you look like you're about to try and break two hours for the marathon, then check out pathprojects.com and hopefully we'll see you out on the trail soon.